Okay, Linnea, you're first. Ladies first. Friends, we gather here today to say goodbye to our good old friend, the single-use, keep going a circle, single-use plastic water bottle, or suck. Our good old friend, much like the good old boys, time on this earth is over. Like many of our most destructive habits, the original intention of the water bottles was innocent enough. Clean, healthy, affordable water in a convenient single serving. Think of all the soccer games, the camping trips, the birthday parties, in which everyone could have access to a healthy serving of water in a sanitary package. We'll just recycle, right? And recycling is good. But it also has its price. It takes fuel and willingness to recycle, both of which can be in short supply. Let's talk about the life cycle of a water bottle. Unlike us humans, the plastic water bottle has more than two parents. In fact, it takes three times its weight in water to produce one bottle. That's bad. In fact, it's really fucking stupid. It also necessitates a quarter of its volume in oil and a half gallon of gas to transport each and every bottle of water. The energy used to transport water bottles in the U.S. for a year could fuel a million cars for that same amount of time. Here's another fun fact about recycling. At least 77% of these bottles are not recycled. They end up in the landfill. Help me imagine a plastic ice mountain the size of 60 billion bottles, which is what we consume in this country alone in one year. I know I'm preaching to the choir when I ask you, can we please consider not conveniencing ourselves to death? There are many alternatives to SUPS. Reuse your glass water bottles. Buy some at the thrift store. They cost about a dollar at the share house. There are so many ways we can have clean water without buying sups. Let's extinct them before they extinct us. Yeah. Let's also say no to the commodification and privatization of water. Yeah. The water of this earth belongs to us all, and those who have done the least to pollute it are the most vulnerable to exclusion of access. Yes. Right now, Nestle plays 300 measly bucks a year to produce millions of dollars worth of water bottle and shift them all over the country. There are approximately 30 other corporations that do the same in Michigan. Our prior state rep, Yusuf Rabi, was working tirelessly on legislation to stop this insanity. Let's push those in charge to push through this legislation. Finally, we are raising our voices against these outdated, dangerous practices. Yes. We must make and change policy, education, and legislation to ban single-use plastic at the University of Michigan, the yes. city of Ann Arbor, and beyond. As we change yes. policy, so will we change consciousness. As we change consciousness, so will we change policy. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Bear. Let's give him a round of applause. It's a little better with the Wagner playing, but that's okay. Maybe next year in the spring. Alan.